Hello from Sweden and welcome to this pick a card reading. Your prayer was heard and this is what the universe will bring you. And I have prepared three different Pulse Sweet Oracle cards. The one that you feel the most drawn to will be your reading today. As always, we're also using different tarot decks in all of the piles. So we have pile number one with Ace of Cups. We have pile two with Ace of Pentacles. And we have Pile 3 with Ace of Swords. Okay, this is the options for today's reading. If you need more time, you can pause the video. Otherwise, you can scroll down to the comment section where you will find your timestamps. And I will see you guys in your sub readings. Hello, pile number one, and welcome to your reading. So your prayer was heard, and the universe is bringing you this now. You felt drawn to the Ace of Cups. I immediately felt like uh, uh, some kind of release of heaviness. Yeah, like a purification, rejuvenating release of just feeling heavy, and maybe like going through some kind of emotional overload or emotional overwhelm because some uh, because of something that you have been dealing with so kind of bringing peace and balance is the first thing that i hear and i feel like a lot of angels around you that are trying to bring you back into emotional peace and balance and with that also of course your mind bringing calming things down for you so maybe there has been like a little bit uh, stressful lately in some way yeah Okay, <laughs> so let's just, we're going to use my own oracle deck, I forgot about it, let's just put it here. We're going to start with three tarot cards to see if we can get some more information here. One, two, okay, three, and let's just put the deck over here. We have five of pentacles, yeah, hmm. Six of swords, wow, this is perfect, you know. Five of Pentacles showing that the stress that you have been in, whatever the situation has been, if it's been your physical health, if it's been some financial situation, whatever the situation is, it's actually been making you physically maybe fatigued or sick or stressed. And uh, I feel the first thing that they want to bring you is some kind of release of this just carrying, like carrying something on your shoulders. And it's like, just like, oh, it's just so heavy uh, to, to bring you, like I said in the beginning here, like into some kind of emotional peace and balance. Ace of Cups, you know, is a very powerful healing energy. It's like, a clean, like really like this cleansing, <laughs> yeah, purifying, cleansing energy. And it helps us uh, feel emotionally good again. So like Six of Swords, yeah, to move you into calmer waters, to, to move you away from that stress. Uh, that stressful emotions to help you also heal your body because I feel like this has been taking a toll on your physical health so uh, to help uh, strengthen your body to get your vitality back to help you feel grounded again let's see what the last card here is the magician now oh, to, to help you feel like you're in, in control over your own life again to help you know the magician you know, he's holding one hand up, you know, he's connected to the divine, he's channeling down, you know, he's co-creating with the universe, he's channeling down his higher, this higher energy, and he grounds it into reality. The magician is a card of action and willpower, control and manifestation. So like, bring, give you back the sense of control over your own life, your destiny, uh... Yeah, your life, your destiny, your well-being, your health. And help you move away from whatever was causing this problem from the beginning. So something is, something was triggered in your life here. <clears throat> I have to catch my breath. Yeah, I, don't, I wasn't, yeah, I was like catching my breath. So like stress, like something was stressing you. 
I also just ran up the stairs. So yeah, there's a, there's the other reason for that. But yeah, <laughs> so uh, we will see like, how are they going to solve this? Because I just see like how they're like one thing, like it's almost like an urgency to get you into uh feeling better emotion like like getting you back to balance like you're like it feels like you're like unbalanced in some way physically mentally emotionally six of swords you know moving into calmer waters moving away from that the magician make you feel uh, empowered again make you feel like you're in control of the situation again of your life over your own destiny over your own future i just see you how they're moving you away from this and manifesting something better even almost so that could also be the case. Ace of Cups also brings creativity. With Ace of Cups, you know, bringing new creativity, new spark of creativity. And the magician here, it seems like to get you to manifest something better for you, maybe even. To leave something that's taking your energy, maybe not even giving you enough, you know, because Five of Pentacles shows lack, it shows loss. And to manifest something better or to like kind of move on from something completely. Because it's, I feel like this is meant to be left behind. Hmm. Because the magician is always, you know, manifesting something amazing. Yeah, manifesting something amazing. So let's take uh, two cards. <laughs> Look at this. In the bottom of the deck, we have health. Yeah, we're going to keep that because I really feel five of pentacles and health goes good together. This is really affecting your health. Let's take you know, one more card from my own deck. So yeah, this is my own Oracle deck. Uh, during the month of August, you know, it's Lionsgate. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate, capital letters, on my website, nordicl.com, you will get free shipping plus 10% off. So yeah, free shipping, 10% off with the coupon code uh, Lionsgate <laughs> on my website. So let's see, we have one more card. Change, wow, this is beautiful. Health change, yeah. So... Your prayer has it. It's 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 more about it's more about maybe you think you know you ask like oh give me more money give me a new home give me this help me solve that uh, help me with this relationship help me with this help me with that so you're it's like almost you asked about something very specific but what they are helping you with like it's like almost like an urgency is to get you in a better shape emotionally mentally physically because it's almost like you are you need like almost like it get you to raise your vibration but by by getting these parts of you like your uh emotional body mental body physical body in 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 balance because i feel like it's an imbalance maybe one of them are even stronger than the other something like being unbalanced being mentally strong but like forgetting about taking care of your body uh, or, you know, uh, losing yourself in emotions, but, but being very physically strong, taking care of your body, your diet, but, you know, <clears throat> uh, not maybe being able to be emotionally balanced, mentally balanced. So it's like, there's like something is like, it's a, it's an unbalanced. And, and, and the, the, the thing that you actually prayed for is secondary. It's secondary for them because they know by helping you regain health, it will raise your vibration and it will bring you the change that you want. Look at this. Look at the stars here. Look at the, I love fall. It's my favorite season of the year. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so I don't know where you live in the world, but maybe you're entering fall here soon. So it could really be showing like a very peaceful resolution coming now during fall time or during the next season. For some of you, you know, it's spring starting. So yeah, any whatever, if it's spring or if it's fall, it's this, is it spring? Fall. Yeah, it should be spring, shouldn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but with the seasons changing now, it seems to be also something is solving and resolving for you. Hmm. It's, it's a lot of focus on healing. So it could be like, you know, the magician here, it could be that the universe is sending you a healer that is crossing your path or that you, you hear about. You're like, oh, I, like somebody tells you, yeah, you should try out this heal, healer. They will help you clear your energy they will help you with this they will help you with that maybe you come across some kind of uh, manifestation affirmations or something you know you start listening to them you change your state of your mind uh and, and things like that and and that will help you but it seems like they it, there's a lot of things like 
that's coming to you that's very soft <laughs> soft loving and helpful with ace of cups you know it's a very loving watery emotional healing energy entering your life mm. so let's take some more <clears throat> i don't know how to put the cards today yeah maybe we should put it here i kind of want to keep this in the middle yeah i'm trying to do a new <laughs> new type of layout so let's just keep this here in the middle and uh we'll, we'll, okay I mean, I mean let's just I, yeah see i'm just confused <laughs> let's just keep it like that let's just see how it turns out we have air air with spider could be that you should listen to pile number three air you know we had the ace of swords uh, if you want to so spider <clears throat> number eight yeah there's a lot of things being connected and coming together there is a higher plan for you i feel like they're saying that there is a higher plan for you you are being moved somewhere and you're overly focused on one thing right now and that is fine you're overly focused on one thing that's really causing you some kind of stress right now and i feel like that's fine uh, because uh, that's just the way it is <laughs> yeah so we have to accept that it's just the way it is but i feel like universe is saying like there are many things being connected right now <clears throat> there are many things going on behind the scenes <clears throat> where life is going to lead you somewhere look at this you know the spider is spinning its web and it's all like connected to the center so it feels like everything is coming together to bring you something here that's to the center it's your life is being wo woven you know behind the scenes almost and uh, spider is about creativity you know ace of cups creativity i feel like you're being like i don't know what the three five of pentacles represents for you if this is if this is like bad health in some way it could be with a magician the master doctor healer that will help you make sense out of your illness and help you heal will come if this is a you know, uh, you need a better job. You know, the magician can show how you will manifest this or this offer is coming to you or something here. If you need a new home, you know, this is being manifested to you. It's, it's, and I almost feels like that it's, the thing that you're worried about right now won't matter 11 11 <laughs> i had the camera i just looked up it said 11 11 yeah that was a big confirmation but the thing that you're worried about now won't matter in a couple of months it won't matter maybe even next week because you're almost just like trapped in something and being you 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 and it's it's <laughs> Yes, it's causing you like a lot of stress, but it's like a temporary situation. And the reason why I say it's not going to matter in the future, in a pretty soon future, is because it's going to be resolved. So it's going to be... Uh, it could be that you're, you're worrying about the future or you're thinking like a lot... You have a lot of thoughts and feelings that actually you don't have to have because you have these feelings and thoughts because the future looks unsure and unpredictable maybe or something is really causing you suffering right now but i once again feels like because it, it feels like you're you know five of pentacles six of swords you're moving away from this the magician you're manifesting something amazing for yourself with the spider here which universe is conspiring to give you you know it's it's being created for you so it almost feels like it's done already See here, it's done. You're ready to receive it almost. So you will re receive something. Maybe it will come here with the seasons changing now. It's summertime here uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. I think this is the Southern Hemisphere. I always think this should be the Northern Hemisphere, you know, because this is I live in the Nordic countries. But I think this is the Southern Hemisphere. So here, you know, we just had summer. So it's still summer, kind of summer. <laughs> Weird summer, it's only been raining. But anyways uh fall is coming so for you you know spring is coming maybe if you're in the northern hemisphere yeah it doesn't make sense for me let's not overthink that um uh, so it could be that you're getting some kind of good news now that's really going to make you move and just like feel like whoa you know peace yeah peace and and the thing that you're getting also is very nice you know look the, the whole web is, is spinned i don't know if you can say that but yeah everything is ready here you're just like enjoying it here now every yeah you know the spider just, the, the hard work is like making the web then the spider is just sitting here waiting to catch all the good things so <clears throat> something makes me think like like something would hold your horses and just wait something out um 
because it's coming to you like don't take don't 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 think don't have this catastrophizing catastrophizing thoughts like ruminating uh, it, it's not that necessary to do that if you can get out of it this would be very good for you because it, it, i feel like it's not necessary it's like un you're you're bringing unnecessary pain to yourself Sp wow <laughs> spider wow i mean this is crazy <laughs> spider two times creativity creativity also with the ace of cups you know wow universe is being very creative 10 number 10 to bring you an ending to your five of pentacles wow you are i'm getting goosebumps all over my arms and this is pretty funny uh because i had a couple of rough days it's been like a lot of energy mostly you know i've been dealing with like a, a lot of outside energies a lot of energetic course and it's always draining for me and i was feeling a little bit like Bleh, you know and then <clears throat> uh paxton my cat just jumped in through the window just before i started this reading with a white feather in his mouth and i was like wow <laughs> really like angels showing like everything is going to be fine you know don't worry you know this is just energy it comes and it goes so yeah and with that said i also feel like this for you you are so supported if you have been praying if you've been like really turning to your guys they have really heard your prayer they have really heard your prayer and they want to say they are working with all their creativity you know they are working they're spinning the web for you here you you have also been doing you know the right things so it's like everything is going to be brought to you here stay with the magician you know stay in control i want to almost say like don't let yourself fall too deep into some kind of pit you know pick yourself up as fast as you can and uh yeah if as fast as you can you pick yourself up mm, don't give your away your power because it will change for you and <clears throat> we have a no look at this no underneath the five of pentacles perfect you know here to make us scared almost to say yeah no it's not gonna work you know as soon as i say pick yourself up be powerful be strong you know i was raising my vibration and the no just came as a punch in the stomach you know so the no came as a punch in the stomach this is like something is could be like it's taking your power away from you you feel like i won't be able to change this or i feel like i'm stuck or i don't can't see like any change in the near future and that makes us lose energy the no is also like i i just said like i have been experienced like a lot of energy from the outside like a lot of cords and like people pulling my energy and that's not nice for an empath of course you know so no is also putting energetic boundaries you know it's saying no it's also saying no here five of pentacles to the thing that's not good for you you will be able to say no to this because you're getting some better offer maybe you will be able to move your home because now you found a new home you will be able to quit that job that actually yes it's giving you money but it's also making you sick <laughs> yeah, you know it's like uh, yes maybe it's giving you something but it's also giving you something that's not good so it's like uh it's not a good situation even if it's some even if, even if maybe it supports you in some way and i feel like with the six of swords you know it's a very peaceful moving away there's no drama here there's no um there's no difficulty why when you are going to do this you know even the change here with the fall card here you know shows like a very peaceful change you know even with the stars here yeah a very peaceful change Hmm. so transition even almost yeah you're going to transition from one place in your life physical place work home health or health and of course this is all connected you know <laughs> you're going to be affected in all your levels you mentally you know if you if you get a better job you know of course you're going to feel good in your mind you're going to feel good in your emotions you're going to start not having headaches anymore maybe or things like that your stomach is not going to hurt so <clears throat> there is a overall holistic <laughs> holistic thing happening here to you so angels are coming i feel like a lot of angels in your reading i did already from the beginning you're very very supported strength with fennel uh fire element and virgo so yeah virgo this card just came out yesterday i think so yeah virgo you know work and health yeah five of pentacles is very connected to work and health and uh, not not uh, loss and uh, also separation actually and uh, being in the cold 
in some way being in the cold. So strength here. Yeah, I mean, it's hard sometimes to be strong when life really has knocked us down. You know, it's very hard, you know. That's when we're really being tested. It's easy to be high vibrational and positive and all, you know, full on, you know, happy and creative and things like that. When everything is going good, very easy, you know, but uh, um, our, our spiritual foundation is really, really tested during those difficult times. This is when we can see how far we have come. But we shouldn't, of course, we shouldn't say like, oh, look at me, I'm so bad, you know, I'm all, something bad happened and I'm all lost. No, of course not, you know, that's just the ego coming into their back door. But yeah, <clears throat> I feel like life is really testing you right now. And I want you to know that it will work out for you. It, it will work out for you. And I almost want to say like, don't lose yourself so much in the negative thinking and the thoughts and the feelings because it feels like un it's making you unnecessarily feel bad. If you can... If you can't find some strength within you and some confidence, try to keep the boat floating. <laughs> yeah. Try to keep yourself like kind of above the surface because things are going to change for you. Things are, if there's something that you need to say no to that is taking your energy, it's time now. It was time yesterday. <laughs> it's time to say no to that. Don't be scared of cutting cords. Don't be scared of saying no. When you feel it, if something is not right for you, you just say, you know what? No. You don't have to make a drama about it. You just say like, yeah, this wasn't right. You didn't just no. Because saying no to what's not good for you is going to strengthen you. It's going to empower you. And that's a game changer as well for you. We have, <clears throat> we have stand still. Hmm. So it's interesting, we have the Magician, the card of action and willpower. Underneath, we have Stand Still. You're in between. This is pretty funny because I don't know what to, I, I, I want to say, you, you know, take action. Don't take action. Should I tell you to take action? Should I tell you not to take action? I think there is a balance here for you between surrendering and trusting the process and trusting the universe and seeing how life unfolds for you but there's also some need for some kind of action so it's like almost like you are on the yeah it's a balancing act for you not to be too passive but also not to be too aggressive with a, a, a fire here too aggressive pushing things because you want things to move forward balancing act once again the sword here yeah so if you want to watch another pile, pile three could be your pile. If you don't want to watch it, then forget about it. Who cares? <laughs> so let's see what else we got here. <clears throat> Perspective. Wow. And the, and the uh, rainbow here. Things are going, you know, when things clears up, when we're lost in something and we're worrying, we're like, oh, how is this going to work out? How is this going to work out? You know, we are like completely lost. We can't see anything except that worry. But when things are like, when that calms down, all of a sudden, you know, we start seeing things very clearly and we're like, oh, okay, you know, and there is no problem anymore <laughs> almost. So I think like something is, you're going to get perspective over your, your situation. And with the rainbow here, you know, I, I really think there's going to be a very positive change for you. Maybe it starts with you saying no here. Maybe, yeah, maybe it starts with you saying no here. Hmm. Focus with RAT. Stay focused and get the job done. Use your intuition to plan your next steps well ahead. Be flexible in your approach. There's nothing you can't accomplish once you set your mind to it. Don't be distracted. You are on target. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> once again, there is a balance here. Remember to like, don't just lay down and give up <laughs> in some sense or, you know, just... Oh, I, I, it's like, I want, I want to like, it's, it's this perfect balance, you know, between doing and being, between being practical and dealing with everyday life, being responsible, you know, we, we have our responsibilities maybe and things like that, but also giving equally attention to just being and surrendering and meditating and being in nature. So be, if you're in the middle of that line, look at this, I even point, you know, the middle of the line here between the cards. Yeah, I think that's going to be very good for you. Yeah, that's going to be very good for you because you're helping, universe is helping you, but it's like you're pushing together. So you are doing this, 
you're in the right energy and universe and your guys are also pulling you forward by bringing you right type of healing energies with perspective by bringing your insights it comes into your mind you know by bringing you signs maybe like my cat brought me a feather today and I immediately I felt like oh it feels like I felt I, I wasn't planning of doing this reading today because I felt like I was a little bit of a still like in a little bit of a low energy but when I saw that feather my whole energy changed actually I was like okay <laughs> let's go for it so yeah they're gonna bring you signs they're gonna give you some little nudges they're gonna bring you maybe people and things like that so you're not alone you're doing this together maybe you're feeling like you're doing this all alone but you are doing this together and the best way to co-create or to to the best way to work with our guides is also to do our part to keep to do our part like I said was to um both have action and willpower dealing with everyday life our responsibilities but trying to do that in such a balanced way that we can but at the same time equally give in a, uh, equal time to just being surrendering meditating and connecting with our guides our higher self with some kind of spiritual uh, energy these two combined and together with your guides pulling you forward wow it's wonderful and you know it's already ready for you here so it's like kind of like just moving you from point a to b is what i feel <laughs> yeah they're trying to move you from point a to b okay pile <clears throat> number one this was your reading if you want to share your story in the comment section please feel free to do so either way pile number one i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye Hello, pile number two, and welcome to your reading. And you felt drawn to the Ace of Pentacles. So let's put it over here. And we're going to start with three tarot cards. So your prayer was heard, and this is what the universe will bring you. Okay. Four of, wow, interesting. Ace of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Okay, a lot of Pentacles. What else do we have? Temperance. Hmm. And the Sun. Wow. <laughs> nice. Lucky you. So, okay, let me just fix the cards a little bit. So, with Four of Pentacles on one side of the temperance and then the sun on the other side and if we look at the temperance it's almost like it's connecting these two cards with its hands bringing some kind of balance here four of pentacles is a card of you know holding on or like really needing something and holding on to it very strongly like this you know look how this pig is holding the pentacle to its heart sitting on everything it's like keeping everything like very tightly together or like needing something very very strongly with the pentacles you know it usually has to do with security safety stability financial situation and then we have the sun here this is like a very introverted energy actually like trying to keep everything together like very tightly and the sun <laughs> completely opposite con complete extroverted energy you feel uh very open so with four of pentacles like very closed energy and the sun very open energy and then the temperance here in the middle balancing these two out do these two energies out ace of pentacles brings us some kind of new energy for manifestation new energy for abundance or some kind of big opportunity that can help us change our life so I think what universe will bring you is some kind of new opportunity to manifest something for yourself that will help you balance these two energy, two energies. Because almost it's almost like you have to choose between uh, being happy and free and holding on to your coins or hold, holding on to your stability in some way. There's, yeah, it's two. Like here, <clears throat> when, I, when I go to Four of Pentacles, somehow I feel like a little bit safe and stable. But it's, I, I feel like this is like an illusion almost because I'm holding on very strong to this thing. And it could be like a, finan like a situation in your life that's giving you money maybe because like 
it's hard letting that go because it's giving us some kind of safety. But when I go to the sun, I feel free. I feel happy. I don't have any worries in my mind. But you need, you need certain things here in the Four of Pentacles. Maybe you need that financial support. Maybe you need that financial support. So what is the temperance here going to do to you? The temperance here is going to, or the universe is going to somehow balance these two. The way of making money, the way of financially supporting yourself, the way of feeling safe and secure in the world as a human being. You know, we need money to survive. You need a good home. You need, you, we need these things, <laughs> you know. It's going to balance these two energies because it's almost like having fun. It's like, it's like you, it's like you almost like feels like you, you don't know how to combine these two energies. Like I want to put them like this together, being safe and secure, but also being able to have fun. So I feel like universe is going to bring you some kind of solution for this, where you will feel more financially free. Well, you will feel more financially free. It could also be has something for some of you could be something with your home living situation with the four of pentacles, because, you know, four, uh, four is very connected to home, four of pentacles. Yeah, could be also your living situation. Hmm. I feel like you is you need you need safety, you need stability, you need financial security, you need security and safety when it comes to where you live. We all need these things. But somehow it feels like you I feel like I want to move you here or you want to move here. You want more happiness and joy in your life. You want it to be easier for you. Yeah, you want it to become easier for you. Not such a struggle to go to work maybe every day. Maybe not maybe not depending on somebody else or something else to, to make you feel safe. It's hard to let go of Four of Pentacles because it's giving you a sense of security and stability. I love that we have the temperance here. Temperance is also Sagittarius energy. So Sagittarius energy, you know, is a very expansive energy, you know, uh, and this is very close energy. So this really shows how it's going to, and then we have the sun, you know, connected to Leo. So we have two fire signs here and four of pentacles. I don't know. Maybe it could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, you know? So let's, let's do more cards. We're going to take two cards from my own Oracle deck. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate with capital letters on my website, nordicl.com, I will send you, you will get free shipping plus 10% discount during the month of August. Yeah. So I have shared, I have also shared the information uh, in the comment section, just above the timestamps. So let's see, let's take two cards here. <clears throat> Challenge. And curiosity. Wow. Curiosity goes so good together with the Sagittarius energy because, you know, Sagittarius and the arrow, you know, uh, always, you know, looking for expansion, always looking very curious energy, always very open. So challenge, <clears throat> I almost want to put the challenge between the four of pentacles because yes, it's giving you something as well, but it's also like, it's challenging. <sighs> curiosity, like see here moving away. I think like universe is going to open up another door for you to, 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 to manifest a way of supporting yourself, a, a place of living, a place of being a human here in the world, you know, what work, you know, we have to work and we have to have a home. These are two things that are very important, you know, work, finances and home, you know, very important. We cannot skip this just because we're on the spiritual path. We need this to be able to be on the spiritual path as well. You know, in some sense, you know, it's not super, we can, of course, also transcend that, but that would be like really hardcore and not many souls are meant for that. It's not necessary to be that hardcore. If you feel like that's your calling, then you go for it, of course. But, and I think it's like making life more easy for you when it comes to these two things, home, work, fight three things, homework, financial, but work and finances go together almost, you know, um, so that you can feel safe, but also free, you know, <laughs> safe and free. So you don't have to worry so much. So it doesn't have to be a challenge for you to, 
make a living <clears throat> so it doesn't have to be a challenge for you where you live and things like that hmm so I'm trying to like I'm I'm trying a new setup, but but I don't know how I'm doing it. So I'm, I'm a little bit confused today. So I'm sorry. I'm just gonna move the cards here. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just go with that. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> let and then let's do more cards. <clears throat> spirit. Wow, spirit with unicorn. Wow, the unicorn is showing the way. It's a lot of, I mean, look at this arrows showing the way, showing the way here, uh, and it's really showing the way to the sun. A more free and happy life where you don't carry the burden of home, finances, and career. <laughs> yeah, so once again, this, this, in these areas, it seems we, we still don't know how they're going to help you, what universe will bring you, but like some kind of opportunity here with Ace of Pentacles seems to be something completely new, like a fresh new door opening up to you. Yeah, fresh new door, fresh new energy. I also feel like they want to move you energetically. Could be also be a physical move, you know, like I said, maybe some of you are living with somebody, family member, I don't know what, and it's not working. I don't know what, you know, but yeah. And to the sun, yeah, maybe for some of you move somewhere where it's hotter, you know, maybe you're tired of the cold. <laughs> or, yeah, you, you move somewhere where the weather is nicer, Some some somewhere, I heard Hawaii, I have no clue why. So maybe somebody's moving to Hawaii, of course, that's going to be like a small portion. Spain, maybe Greece. Yeah, Portugal I hear also. Yeah, all these countries come, always comes up <laughs> when I start, you know, channeling countries. But yeah, <clears throat> move to the beach. Yeah, so Four of Pentacles is, not, you know, being on uh, ground. And the sun, you know, because she's wearing this uh, bathing suit here, it makes me feel like maybe moving closer to water because that makes you feel better. Moving, m being closer to nature. Four of Pentacles could even be like living in the city. Moving... Hmm. Your energy is changing. I want to say pile number two, your energy has been changing like a lot. So the things that you were able to do before, maybe you can't do anymore. Maybe before you could handle a nine to five job, maybe before you could handle this and that, but you have been, you know, going through with temperance and the spirit unicorn here, you have been going through like a lot of spiritual upgrades and transformations and shifts so like your energy is more delicate now <laughs> yeah your energy is like different now so it could be like that you need something else the the thing that worked before it doesn't work anymore now you need something else and i think it's like you're you don't match you have vibrationally outgrown things on the outside that before was making you feel safe. So it could even be the things that before was good, making you safe and secure, is not good for you anymore because you vibrationally don't match with that anymore. You're, you're moving to a vibration that equals the sun. And you know, sun is connected to the fifth house, which is connected to Leo, which is all about creativity, fun, pleasure, good fortune but make me think of creativity and fun i feel like you need that creative freedom you need creative freedom to be able to really understand your life purpose because your life purpose has to do something has something to do with your creative freedom has something to do with your higher soul energy and the connection that you have a higher more sensitive more deep connection. Four of Pentacles keeps you more in the... Could be that it's keeping you more in in the 3D world, but we still need, you know, certain things. <laughs> you know, we still need certain things. Uh, let's not go too deep into that. So there's like a... It's giving you those things, but giving you those things in a higher kind of octave, octave maybe. Higher energy. I don't know if I pronounced that right, I'm sorry, but yeah, higher, you know, one level up. So you had one home, you had one work, you had this, you had that, and that at some point was equal with your vibration. But now because you've been healing and going through so many shifts and things, it's like you're, it's like you are, you're shedding skin. <laughs> and I see like, you're like screaming from the inside. You're like, let me out, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna wear this costume anymore, you know, let me out. So some, you want to come, out for pentacles you know it's a very close energy the sun whoo complete open you're even in a bathing suit here 
completely happy in your green body, you know, <laughs> you're like, yes, in your artistic, uh, uh, what is it called, in your artistic, uh, um, hmm, oh, I can't find that word, but yeah, in a very high artistic energy here, and you feel good, you feel free, you, you're, you're manifesting, abundance is coming to you, you're not lacking anything here, even if you left this thing here that was making you feel safe. Something with the sun actually has to do with your life purpose. Something with your life purpose. Universe were... I think like it's going to be... Some of you have a hard time moving. So it's going to happen in steps. You know? Because many of us, many of us has that. We can't just throw ourselves out there, quit our job and quit anything and just like go into the forest and buy a telt and become a monk. You know, it's not going to work <laughs> for the majority of us, you know? But... Um, so I feel like they're going to try to move you in steps. And maybe this has already started happening. One thing happens. And then you have to heal something. You have to release something. And then you go one step. And then one step. And then this happens. And you go one step. And then one step. And then you let go of this person. Or you do this. Or you get this abundance. Or you get this opportunity. And boop, 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 boop. They're moving you. And they're moving you. Where are they moving? They're moving you to perfectionism <laughs> it sounds so strange yeah I, I keep wanting to i keep i can't find those words and i don't even know if they exist you know but i just feel like i have it like almost like i have it i have like the your future almost like on the tip of my tongue but i can't really say it this sounds strange maybe but i feel like some kind of energy and i see the place that they're moving into is really magical i see you in the future you living in your dream place. You have found your spiritual purpose. You have found your artistic, creative purpose. And you're living that purpose. You're living that purpose and you're successful and you're happy. And you have moved away. I keep seeing this move. You have moved away from some energy. Some of you really, this is a physical move. You were here. And in the future, you are here. So what's going on now? Universe will bring you this. An opportunity, a next step maybe. The next step for you to take one more step forward to reach this goal. Yeah, to reach this goal. Your energy is changing a lot. You need to know that pile number two. Don't force yourself to stay somewhere which you have outgrown. Because you're going to start to feel suffocated almost. Look at this, this challenge, it's going to be a challenge here if you, if, if you kind of stay. Even if you don't know how to go or you don't know how to change, just keep all the doors open. Keep all the doors open and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, see what happens. Yeah, just keep all, sleeping man, wow. <clears throat> what an interesting card. Sleeping man unconscious. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's do more cards. Wait. Interesting. Wait. Hmm. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I want to say, yeah, I, I, I kept feeling this feeling of not throwing yourself out somewhere. You know, many times we say, you know, just do this, let go of this and throw yourself out there. But for you, I want to say, you know, wait, you know, do it. Do, this is going to happen very, even with the challenge card here, you know, see, it's a very... It, 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 yes, it's challenging, but it seems to be like a release here. All the chakras, you know, see? Everything is releasing in all the chakras. There's cleansing going on. The birds are moving here. So it seems like you're releasing like a lot. And you're expanding your energy a lot. You're changing your energy a lot. You're awakening from this unconscious stage, you know, with the sleeping man here. And for some of you, maybe you have like a partner. Can be a man, can be a woman. You know, this very unconscious and you have a bit of a problem with that because your energies are now trying to, starting to become so different from each other's and that's that's difficult actually to be in a relationship where you're starting to vibrationally outgrow your partner could even be a friend or some other f masculine figure in your life hmm wait here makes me feel Universe is bringing you this to you. Even the Ace of Pentacles, you know, is the slowest of the Pentacles because it's Earth energy. But we have two fire fire signs here, so you don't. It, it's 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 burning. You know, it's happening and it's burning. But 
keep yourself grounded and make grounded decisions for yourself. Grounded decisions for yourself where you are like, you know, the sword, the sleeping man, conscious, be, you know, unconscious. Make conscious choices for yourself. Don't make impulsive choices. Don't just throw yourself out of there, out there. But I feel like step by step, they're helping you move so it, you don't have to go through some kind of chaos. Even the temperance here, trying to balance this transition. Wisdom. <clears throat> so yeah, more fire. Uh, sign a Leo again here, you know, sun, sun and Leo. Number 22, once again, balance. Yeah, it's a balanced transition for you. <clears throat> Yeah, it's a balanced transition for you. So do you won't kind of lose something in the process or so it won't be too stressful for you is also what I hear. We have security. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So yeah, home situation, financial situation, career situation. Yeah, living situation. I said that. Relationship situation. There's definitely something going on here. Step by step, yeah, ooh. there's like energies are really moving for you. They're showing you the way. It's very important not to let anything become chaotic. Don't lose your ground. You need also the Four of Pentacles. You need the Four of Pentacles to keep you grounded. That's why temperance is in between here, like a bridge, like a beautiful bridge. We need this. We need this financial stability. We need to be grounded. We need to have a good home. But we also need to, or there is a divine timing for us to move into our life purpose, our spiritual purpose. And also into a complete different energy. This is already happening, you know. You can't stop yourself from growing. You can't help, you can't stop yourself from growing and expanding. And we also have longevity. Attend to things before they become a problem. Especially take care of yourself on all levels. Pursue a healthy lifestyle to attain mental clarity and physical wellness. You may need a different approach to the situation at hand. Be flexible. So yeah, it's also taking. It's also about taking care of yourself and your health. <clears throat> So we, we got a lot of advices here, what, what I kind of like, but it's always like this, you know, this one part the universe is helping us, but one part, you know, is also up to us because we are, uh, we are working together with the universe, you know, we're working together with our guides. So for you, it's like, yeah, I just said what you needed to do is like, keep yourself grounded. Don't be impulsive. M be sure that when you take a decision, it comes from, you know, you're connected with the truth, you're awake, you're aware of the decision that you're taking and you know what it means for you. Uh, don't be scared of taking that decision when it's time uh, because be sure that you, you, there's movement here. Yes, maybe there's a little bit of a slow movement, but there is movement. There is a lot of expansion. There's a lot of uh, positive fire energy coming into your life you know you're learning something here with wisdom it's this is like you're learning along the, the way you're the, this whatever situation that you are in is also giving you something very good actually it's teaching you something it's helping you heal something it's changing something but yes universe will bring you this transition i think they're what they're saying is like this is more like an answer saying like it is go it's happening but there are things that you're dealing with step by step by step. And you have to learn with wisdom here. You have to balance things out. You have to purge maybe this situation. And then, you know, this happened. And then this happened. And this happened. Yes, we can see. We understand. This is a damn challenge. This is difficult for you. We understand that. But you are cleansing and purging all the chakras now. So something is going to come up here that tests your power. Something is going to come up here that tests your confidence. Something's going to come up here in your truth, in your, in your true chakra, in your throat chakra that's going to, you know, test your throat chakra and third eye. You know, all these chakras are being almost tested. And it sounds strange. Why are they being tested? No, it's not really being tested. Of course, it's being healed. Things are being pushed up to the surface because you are healing, you are changing, you are in the spiritual awakening. Your soul wants this your cho soul has chosen this look at the spirit and the unicorn here a lot of twos here actually i didn't even see that 
we have number two, 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 two. So let's read number two, two, two. <clears throat> And the angel numbers book 101. Yeah, sometimes you wonder which one it is. This, it looks like this. <laughs> so yeah. So let's see. Two, two, two. Trust that everything is working out exactly as it's supposed to. With divine blessings for everyone involved. Let go and have faith. Yeah, have faith. You know, it, it, it's, it's a journey for you. Sleeping man unconscious. You're waking up slowly bit by bit this you're not meant for that crazy journey like i said you know just go you know you just leave everything you go into the forest you buy a tent you just meditate meditate all day long maybe that was a phase of your life but it's not it, it doesn't seem like maybe it's not there anymore if you, if you feel like that's for you then you go do that you know i'm not going to tell you what to do or not to but it's like one thing that you need to know it's like things are happening one by one you're dealing with this dealing with this and yes maybe it's a little bit of a slow journey but you are on the right path as long as you keep on kind of like expanding and not holding on. Oh yeah, let's forget about that. <laughs> I doesn't want to out focus. And not holding on too long to the Four of Pentacles. Not closing your energy too much, holding on to something too hard. But I think at times when you do that, this is the time when Tower Moment comes into your life. When we're holding on too strong to something that's not good for us, and you know, you, you're, you're, you're moving, your energy is moving, you're changing. This is when the universe brings you a Tower Moment, shake things up, you know, or planet Uranus <laughs> energy, shake things up to help you release that. But you don't have to go through those difficult phases of your life. If we learn to try to let go when we feel like, oh, okay, now I'm holding on, now I'm just holding on because I'm scared of letting go, you know? So if you can avoid those moments, it's really going to help you. You also need to know that at a certain time in your life, things are going to start to become much easier for you. The reason why it's going to become easier for you is because you're going to be done with the purging, the heavier things. And when you're done with purging the heavier things, of course, no more heavier things is going to come up. It's going to be easier things. And also you have gained a lot of wisdom, a lot of spiritual wisdom, a lot of wisdom on how to handle your emotions, on how to take action on things, on how to do this or that. You learned a lot of things about yourself. You learned a lot of things about other people. You learned a lot of things. So you, you're naturally going to be able to handle things completely differently. So you are moving from darkness almost to light or moving you we don't even want to say darkness to light because it's it, it still talks about duality actually what you're doing is completely normal you as a soul are just dealing with a lot of past karma a lot of past chords a lot of past you know karmic emotions and thoughts and yes no they're not easy but you are dealing with them you are healing them you are changing them and with this naturally you're going to move uh, to a place in your life which is more aligned with some kind of higher energy that you have your soul purpose and you know happiness and abundance and all these things that comes naturally because beyond all those beyond any heaviness any darkness any negativity there's always love and abundance so yeah naturally you're moving towards love and abundance hmm. life is bringing you an opportunity life is bringing you a change be very curious when it comes and don't be scared to expand and to go after any offer that an offer that comes to you that feels good. Step by step, you are moving forward. Hmm. Okay, <clears throat> pile number two. This was your reading. If you want to share your story, story in the comment section, please feel free to do so. Either way, pile number two, I wish you all the best and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Hello, pile number three, and welcome to your reading. And I think, <laughs> I don't know, I hope this is going to be my favorite pile because I felt so drawn to this pile. So anyways, <laughs> you felt drawn to the Ace of Sword. Clarity, power, victory, breakthrough, vision, and truth. And yeah, we have the beautiful infinity sign here also with the snake. So let's just put it here and we are going to start with three tarot cards so your prayer was heard and this is what universe will bring you come on universe <laughs> bring us something good <laughs> so <clears throat> and one more card okay let's just 
start. <clears throat> Let's just start with this. We have Queen of Swords. Wow, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Ooh, a lot of clear energies here. Open path, open. Complete no, no obstacles. Yeah, <laughs> like obstacles are gone. Moving the obstacles and the High Priestess. Wow, moving the obstacles and then creating this very powerful connection with the high priestess here and we have when we have the high priestess and we have this very clear connection we can download a lot of truth a lot of answers a lot of clarity and the queen of wands and then we can take the right action to move forward with this fierce empowered energy so universe is going to bring you some kind of <laughs> yeah cracking open the skull <laughs> you know because ace of swords <clears throat> because with eight of swords and the ace of swords here and the queen of swords you know two very powerful swords cards uh, it has to do with the mind it has to do with the third eye and the crown chakra and it's about the obstacles it doesn't matter what, what obstacles we have on the outside, on the external. The most powerful force is our own mind. The biggest obstacles, on the other hand, is also our own mind. So our mind can be our biggest enemy or the most powerful force that will bring us anything that we want. So for you, there has been something laying heavy on your mind. <clears throat> there has been... unclarity or losing yourself in a situation and this has been like keeping you a little bit unbalanced so <clears throat> universe is going to bring you some kind of breakthrough yeah cracking open the skull and some kind of breakthrough and then creating space for you to the high priestess download some kind of information insight new perspective that you need right now so that with the queen of wands here you can move forward with your endeavor <laughs> yeah with your creative endeavor with your vision that you have for yourself whatever you are building whatever you are doing whatever success that you're seeking in your life so that you can take the right action <clears throat> to move forward very successfully with that. <laughs> so crack open the skull, create space, make this download come to you, and then you're going to be, I know exactly what to do now, I know exactly where to go, I have the energy, I have maybe even with the High Priestess and the Queen of Wands, unlocking some kind of ability, some kind of artistic uh, or bring you some kind of artistic energy or some kind of boost of energy so that you can finish something that you have started maybe writing a book maybe you know your something with your business but bringing you <clears throat> also bringing your charm and beauty actually with the queen of wands yeah beautifying you and just bringing you uh somehow helping you reach the top in some way whatever that means for you yeah reaching the top so like a glow up yeah bring you like a glow up get rid of bad energy <laughs> i just saw here the bottom of the deck yeah we have money <laughs> should we keep that of course we're gonna keep it <laughs> yeah let's keep the money as well because money is nice <clears throat> yeah bring you some money even here or you know enhance your ability to make money because the queen of wands is super creative it's just a very you know uh, yeah, she's a very good businesswoman. She's an amazing artist. You know, she's very confident and loved. You know, she's, yeah, very loved and confident. And, hmm. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do two more of these cards. So, this is my own deck. If you use the coupon code Lionsgate with capital letters, I will ship you the deck for free and you will also get 10% off during the month of August. You'll find the deck on my website, nordicl.com. I have also shared the information in uh the comment section <laughs> in the comment yeah in, in the comment section above the timestamps cleanse yeah wow this is great <laughs> yeah with cleanse i want to put it here i think we're gonna move this a little bit actually yeah ace of swords cleanse yeah breakthrough cleanse something out of your energy some yeah this could even be something from the outside in your energy yeah something is in your energy bothering you 
Ace of Swords, cutting the cord with something or someone that is draining your energy. Maybe someone that is tapping. I don't know what to put this. I'm <laughs> keep doing this today, being confused with the cards. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, <clears throat> making you confused. But it could even be somebody tapping into your channel, tapping into your, yeah, I don't know, feeding off your empath, feeding off your good energy because it feels good, because you have a lot of power, which is leaving you fatigued and them, <laughs> you know, you, you, they, take your, they take your energy and it's leaving you fatigued and it's leaving them empowered. So this is like a very unhealthy, energetic <clears throat> um, cord. So something with like cleansing that out for you, yeah, cleansing that out for you, clearing that out. Very, very good for you. This is very good for you. If you feel called to meditation, if you feel called to some kind of cord cutting, whatever you feel called to when it comes to cleaning your energy, putting healthy boundaries, saying no, universe is bringing you this big no to be able to say no to these energies. I also want to say in pile number one, I kept saying like, because the sword a sword kept coming up in pile number one, kept saying like, maybe you should check pile number three. Now when I said no, I think we got the card of no in pile number one. So yeah, if you want to check pile one, if, or if you want to check another pile, pile one is definitely your pile. If you don't want to, then forget about it. So cleanse, yeah, <clears throat> no need to get out, need to get rid of somebody's energy and it's like causing confusion in your mind. But it's also like, it's also other things. <laughs> I'll keep a vision. Yeah, I have to stop turning the deck, you know, because we're always, always getting new cards. Yeah, vision. Something is clouding your mind. Something is in your third eye. Somebody else's energy is almost like in your face. Yeah, in your face. It could cause like... Uh, you know how your nose, like when it closes, what is it called? I don't know what it's called. You know, you can't breathe you know, because the nose has become stuffy. Yeah, it, it can cause a stuffy nose. I have noticed that lately, I have to say, you know, being a, a very sensitive uh, empath, you know, I feel like a lot of energy wants to come in through the nose and the mouth. Have you ever noticed that? So it could be that it's causing you a stuffy nose. It could be like your face is itching. Your eyes are like a little bit red or itchy or something. Could also be all allergy, of course. You have to, you know, feel a little bit, you know, what's what. But <clears throat> yeah. On the other hand, it's also like, yeah, the only reason why the energy comes in here is also because of course, there's something in your third eye and crown chakra that resonates with this energy and is not cleared out. So it's not just getting rid of the energy that you're picking up on or that you're feeling or that's making you stuffy here and there, but it's also like helping you with some kind of, because we have Ace of Swords and Queen of Swords, some kind of deeper cleansing of the third eye and the crown chakra. So you're that your channel and that your connection becomes very clear. And with this, you're going to feel very empowered and strong. Your aura is very strong here. Look at this. If, some, if nobody can get into your aura and, you know, you're not affected by outside energies. Sometimes I think, you know, half of my healing work, you know, or half of my time when I do healing or meditate or things, I only deal with other people's emotions and feelings and pretty frustrating actually. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> but I know, you know, there's a lesson there because as an empath, you know, with a narcissistic mom and also, you know, I had narcissistic friends and spiritual teachers, spiritual teachers that are narcissists, they are the worst. Yeah, <laughs> I have to say that. Yeah. So yeah, anyways, <laughs> they're very difficult to deal with. But yeah, you know, I had like also once uh, one narcissistic partner in the past, you know, but anyways, you know, this is also this uh, trauma bond. I know when we are an empath, empath, an empath has a lot of we are givers, you know, empaths are givers by nature, narcissists are takers by nature. So somewhere along the line, you know, we have somewhere learned not to say no, even if we think we're saying no, there's something like not learning how it like, we, I think like if this resonates for you, it's like we need to learn on a very deep energetic level to say no. Yeah, I just wanted to see what that was. Yeah, I just heard the sound. I was thinking, is that my cats? Yeah. So yeah, <clears throat> anyways, and uh, you're getting help with this. Yeah, you're getting help to like really be clear and strong in your energy and having that very strong energetic boundaries to this is my energy and this is your energy and I don't have to give you something uh, 
just because. And I think, you know, I know for myself, you know, also once again, living with a narcissistic mom or growing up with a narcissistic mom, there's a lot of shame and guilt that they project on us. So I feel always like I have to give and I always have to be nice or I want, the thing is not that I have to, I also want to be nice. <laughs> you know, I'm a pretty nice person. So I want to be nice. And so giving is naturally, but it's, it causes this imbalance because many people don't know the balance, you know, between it could be like that you feel so good that they hook onto your energy and they don't let go. And this makes us feel pretty bad. So anyways, <clears throat> there's something with something with your third eye, crown chakra that's connected to this and your, your connection with other people and their energies that's going to clear out for you as well. Dream. Wow. We have vision. We have dream. I mean, dream is also connected to the third eye. And yeah, I said a stuffy nose and you know, uh, the nose is also connected to the third eye. So if you have a stuffy nose many times and things like that, it could be like definitely something is uh, going on with your third eye. So yeah, <clears throat> so that you can make your dream come true so that you can make your vision come true here. So maybe, you know, your prayer is about your vision, your creative endeavor, your artistic abilities or something like that, because this seems to be in focus yeah it's a dog barking out there i don't know if you hear it air and raven wow <laughs> yeah once again third eye crown chakra with the raven here and the air element and the northern lights here beautiful you know hmm hmm you're very yeah this is pilometry yeah you are very spiritual i mean you're very spiritual sensitive yeah you're definitely very spiritual sensitive um I think at times you give away your energy and uh, I think at times people take your energy without you knowing it. I think at times, you know, there are things stuck in your like cords lingering around. Like you don't really know, like almost like they come in the back door and they take your energy. And many, many people don't even know that they're doing this. You know, it's a very, for many, mostly I would say like 90% of the people more maybe don't even know like they are doing this. It's just the way they are, you know? They are takers, you know, they are takers. Or maybe, you know, they're feeling bad and you feel good. So they like latch onto your energy just because it feels good without like <clears throat> learning how to find that source of, pure energy within themselves and this is like if you if we do this this you know we it's about time so, so, what i hear them say it's like it's about time that you keep that good energy to yourself you worked hard for it and now it's like it's 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 you want to keep it to you you want to keep it to you so that you can feel strong and empowered and healthy here so that you can fulfill your vision and your dream here so you can bring yourself you know abundance and money and i don't know whatever you want i love this card because i love the colors and everything it's i think it's beautiful <laughs> yeah i think it's a beautiful card yeah the other cards are also nice <laughs> but yeah <clears throat> so let's see what else we got here skull i mean i said in the beginning crack open the skull now, yeah, I did say it, didn't I, in this pile? Yeah, sometimes, you know, I forget. <laughs> I mix the piles together. But yeah, skull. Crack open the skull and the third eye. Whew. Clear out any heaviness, anything that's in the way. Get this very strong, clear connection with the high priestess. Get those downloads, you know, get those... Uh, abilities activated or you know enhanced enhance enhance your already strong abilities with the raven here you nothing is impossible in your hands with the queen of wands you are the queen of wands pile number three if you're a man or a woman it does not matter you know you have this queen of wands energy you can uh, manifest something amazing with your creative abilities yeah something 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 super uh, amazing and uh, you have it in you to, you know, build some kind of business or build something for yourself uh, and make it grow, uh, make it grow so much and, and be seen and be loved if that is what you want. But yeah, you know, you have this energy. Meditation brings answer. Yeah, I said that if you feel a call to like meditate or like do something, some kind of spiritual retreat or like anything, like maybe fasting, maybe changing your diet, Maybe, you know, do an ayahuasca retreat. I don't know. If you feel called to do anything, 
this is like a confirmation that the calling is for you, even with the raven here making a sound yeah i don't know what that's a crop craw, a crop crop <laughs> yeah i don't know so yeah if something is calling you during this time it's going to be very very powerful yeah it's going to be very powerful and i can feel this because i'm planning like a, a a couple of days of retreat now with my twin flame or my husband now uh is it next week next next ne the week after next week yeah the week after next week and i can feel it like it's i can already i already started meditating now but uh, yeah, I can feel like something very powerful is coming, and because we're bo we both were cho we both were drawn to pie number three, I can tell that this also is you. You are moving towards ver something very powerful, maybe like a big time spiritual breakthrough, and really clearing out of some kind of heavy karmic cords or just heavy cords or something in you that keeps attracting energy vampires or people of this kind or energies of this kind. I don't know, or just collective energies. Like it's time to cleanse that out. It's time, it's time is now. And we're also in the Lion's Gate, you know, this is a timeless reading, but now, now whilst recording this, you know, we are in the Lion's Gate, you know, this cosmic alignment. When the sun is in Leo, the star Sirius rises in the horizon and Orion's belt is aligned with the Pyramid of Giza. You know, uh, it is creating a profound and powerful source of spiritual light. And, you know, it's really supercharged energy. So you're, I think you're very affected by this, actually. Yeah, very affected by this. Longevity. <laughs> yeah, we just got this in pile two, I think. So anyways, we have Scorpio and air element and longevity. Scorpio, the raven. Yeah, deep cleanse for you. Be fiercely devoted and loyal right now to your spiritual path. Be fiercely loyal and devoted right now to your vision and your dream. It will bring you, with the money here, it will bring you the abundance that you want. Whatever is in your way, and I want almost to scream. I feel Archangel, wow, I feel so wild, I feel overwhelmed. So yeah, I feel Archangel Michael. I feel Saint, Saint Germain. I see Sananda Jesus, and I see the dragons. All of them are here, and I really feel this very powerful energy just right now, and they're all here in the room, and it's just like, this is we're gonna do this <laughs> this is happening we're gonna do this this obstacle is being removed this upgrade is happening and you're going to be able to fulfill your mission here or your dream or your vision here yeah vision dream and it will give you money you will cleanse out this you know we will cleanse out this and this death is coming this cracking open of the skull and this like like a death of something old that has been causing you with longevity causing you physical maybe stress physical illness emotionally illness mentally illness draining your energy you know causing you fatigue very sensitive if you're very sensitive you know and also you have traumas and things like that and then somebody's feeding off your energy it's very hard to stay balanced i know it myself you know very hard to stay balanced but it is a learning thing also it is a healing thing it's an ascending thing it's a spiritual awakening it's a beautiful journey even going through this difficult part is beautiful because going through this difficult part it's what is helping us like the phoenix to our rebirths the phoenix doesn't become uh, doesn't become reborn without going into the fire being completely uh, burned down by the fire fire into ashes and from the ashes being reborn so we're going through this process you know the fire is necessary you know the transformation even you know a butterfly the metamorphosis of a butterfly it, when it turns from a caterpillar to a butterfly the, the transition there might not be as comfortable you know but it is necessary <laughs> so yeah even giving birth you know giving birth to a human being is awful yeah i don't have any kids but you know i wasn't with my one of my best friends when she gave labor and it took 40 hours and it was like for me you know being an empath i was holding space for her and it was i felt very honored by that and but it was like for me you know as an empath i was feeling everything i felt like my my sacral chakra was like super clean after that i don't know what happened but it really helped me to clean out my because i was through her with all the pains and all the energies releasing so anyways even giving birth isn't always painful so um 
But I, I want to say, like, there's a big chunk of heavy energy that's going to be removed out of your mind and your head and your energy and your, you. It's going to be removed out of you. A byproduct to that is that you're going to get rid of people that feeding of your energies because they can't they can't put your hooks in there anymore because there's nothing to put hook in. There's nothing to put a hook in. Now there's still certain patterns in your mind. There's still certain emotions. That has to do with your reactions of the past. That has to do maybe with certain karma or way of thinking and feeling. Maybe things that happened to you in past lifetimes or in this lifetime. They're, they can still put their hooks in there. But because you're clearing out something so deeply, there's nothing left there. The energy has dissolved. It's clear. The, the blockage is gone and dissolved. And then they can't put any hooks there anymore because there's nothing to put it in. So even when somebody's trying to reach you energetically and trying to like somehow affect you or maybe certain people that you have been attracting in the past they can't because there's nothing there so their energy will just go right through you and as an empath you don't have to feel this anymore and I think that's the best thing I think and being an empath is like sometimes you know the biggest curse but of course it's a massive gift of being an empath I mean it's a big gift but it's very difficult before we are healed and before we learn how to handle it I think before we are healed and I think you know <laughs> as an empath you know being an empath this is what is mostly pushing me towards uh, spiritual awakening and healing because I think it's very difficult to handle my sensitivity to be honest so we have queen of wands you know then you will be this empowered empath where your sensitivity sensitivity together with the high priestess where your sensitivity and your high beautiful spiritual connection can come in through its full potential hard to be in its full potential when we're always you know drained of energy or when we're always fighting something else here but now you're not fighting anything more your aura is very strong and nothing can come to you and you have this beautiful connection with your sensitivity and you're very artistic and very creative so something is going to come out of you something is going to come out of you with your dream with your vision and dream here you're going to create that beautiful thing that you've been feeling that you want to do and very deep here with the uh, with the Scorpio also in the Raven here very deep beautiful spiritually connected thing it will bring you the the physical uh, the the material and uh, financial abundance that you've been wanting because who doesn't want that you know living a very comfortable life you know why wouldn't we want to live a very comfortable life yeah of course <laughs> so in longevity it's also will, is going to help you health wise because i said stuffy nose you know having a stuffy nose uh, or whatever you know also in the neck if you have a lot of headaches or neck pain there's as an empath there's a lot of energy coming in through the neck also so if you feel like a lot of pressure on your neck or your in your shoulders shoulders is also you know carrying a lot of other people's energy these things are going to get released could be like some kind of physical problems is going to just heal by itself longevity so that you can live a long and happy life yeah a long healthy and happy life potential wow yay <laughs> Yeah, we have potential. Yeah, I wanted to see if it was a volcano. It wasn't because we've been seeing a lot of volcanoes in my readings. So yeah, look at this. It's a mountain here. Sim mountain symbolize enlightenment. So we said that reach so that you can reach your highest potential as an empath, as a very sensitive artistic soul in contact with some kind of higher, deeper energy. You're a very deep soul, you know? Yeah, you're a very deep soul. The way. <laughs> wow. We have Lao Tzu, the way. You are in the right place at the right time. Stay grounded, avoid extremes because it could change. Abandon false praise and people will be truthful. Shun formality and people will be sincere. Forsake cleverness and people will be kind to each other. Okay, you're in the right place at the right time. Abandon false praise, shun formality forsake cleverness yeah uh it's about it's about being true to who you are it's about being true to who you are yeah that's what it is it's about being true to who you are because when we're acting you know for for, for me you know being a people pleaser <laughs> yeah, i have to admit that yeah people pleaser also you know always want to give and i feel like i can't you know if somebody gives me something it could be like you feel like a little bit you know uh always want to give back and things like that but i feel like for me it, it, it i become it, it's 
shame and like be being able to know why we do certain things like it has to be balanced because being a people pleaser is not really balanced Be because behind being a people pleaser and behind be, be wanting just to give because we feel a little bit maybe we should give back or maybe we should do this behind all that there's actually a very pure energy you know like i said empaths are natural givers and there's a lot of compassion there's a lot of goodwill but it becomes distort distorted it becomes unbalanced because we're carrying a lot of traumas you know where we have been abandoned where we have been rejected where we had to like really give everything just to get the breadcrumb you know <laughs> or what well, we've been in this dynamic of the narcissist and the empath so there's like a little bit of imbalance so it's like being true to who we are not losing our kindness and our goodwill and our compassion but also you know there's a border there where we have to learn when to say no both energetically in our mind you know when somebody's like trying to get in touch with our energy or you know uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, but being able to like, no, you know, no, <laughs> you know, but also like physically say no or like using your voice to say no when it doesn't feel right or when it's not balanced. And um, this is what you're learning as well, you know, uh, to not lose who you are and not lose the beautiful gift of sensitivity that you have, but also learning not to be a, what is it called, pushover or a people pleaser or just doing things because you just feel that you have to in some way. Yeah, hard time to, I'm just diving into this. I'm just diving into this when it comes to myself. So yeah, I'm just trying to, I kind of feel the energies. So anyways, learning. Yeah, we're learning. <laughs> yes, we are learning together, pile number three. So yeah, it's about learning. It's about learning, you know, in all these different phases. Yeah, it's about learning about yourself. Hmm. And then becoming one see you're learning about yourself and then you are becoming one you the true you the authentic you the authentic you not a you that has been created through this situation or that situation or this but the true you and i think the true you is a very beautiful empowered human being man or woman that has a very high sensitivity and that has a very deep depth <laughs> and a very natural spiritual connection and very strong artistic creative abilities you are meant to spread joy and happiness and creativity into the world so everything is leading into that okay yes pile number three this was our reading <laughs> thank you for sharing it with me yeah this was our reading so yeah if you want to share your story in the comment section please feel free to do so either way part three i wish you all the best and i hope to see you next time goodbye